What if I told you that in just a few hours, you could go from having zero 3D printing experience to holding a physical object that you designed yourself? You're probably thinking, is that even possible? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to get started with 3D printing. And I'm going to break down the five crucial steps that will take you from a curious beginner to a confident creator. I'm Jason with Tinker Time. Let's get started. Tinker Time. The first step, choosing the right printer. You don't need to spend a fortune to get a high quality machine. I recommend the Flashforge Adventure 5M. You can find it easily on Amazon, and I'll leave the link in the description below. By the way, this is not a sponsored video at all. These items are just my personal recommendations that I personally use and trust. So why this printer? It's perfect for beginners because it's fast, reliable, consistent, and incredibly easy to set up. It's designed to get you printing quickly without a steep learning curve. The second step is selecting the right filament for your printer. Now that you have your printer in mind, you'll need the material to print with. Think of it as the ink for your 3D printer. What's the best material to start with? PLA filament. Why PLA? It's affordable, easy to work with, and non-toxic. It's ideal for those first prints and offers a great surface finish. Okay, you have the printer and the filament. What's next? software. You'll need a standard Windows 11 PC to manage your designs and prepare them for printing. A Mac will also do just fine. We'll be using FlashPrint 5, the software designed specifically for the Adventurer 5M. But before we slice, we need files. Where do you get amazing 3D models to print? Sites like Thingiverse.com and Printables.com are gold mines of free downloadable designs. You'll be looking for STL files. That's the standard file format for 3D printing. Just download the STL and you're ready for the next step. The fourth step is design and slicing. This is where the magic happens. If you want to create your own models, Tinkercad is the perfect online tool. It's free, browser-based, and uses simple shapes to build complex objects. You can learn the basics in just a few minutes. Once you have your design or you have downloaded an STL file from one of the sites that I mentioned earlier, you bring that file into FlashPrint 5. This process is called slicing. The software takes your 3D model and turns it into instructions, G-code, that your printer understands layer by layer. The fifth step is the setup and prepping for the perfect print. Now you're almost there. Before hitting print, you need to set up your machine. First, load your PLA filament. Make sure it's fed smoothly into the extruder. Next, you'll need to prepare your build plate. A clean, well-prepped build plate is crucial for ensuring your prints don't warp. Now start your print and you're good to go. So there you have it. Check out the FlashForge Adventurer 5M on Amazon. Grab some PLA filament. Download STL files from sites like Thingiverse and Printables. Slice your models using FlashPrint 5. Set up and prep your printer for a successful print. By following these five steps, you'll be well on your way to creating anything you can imagine. If you found this guide helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to Tinker Time for more tips, tutorials, and inspiration. Leave a comment below and tell me what you're excited to print first. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Tinker Time.